Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 51 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Falsebound Kingdom, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're in the third from last mission of this campaign. Yeah! Our plan worked! It's not over yet! We need to defeat the rest of these trailing units before Merrick gets back! Alright, so this is basically what you have to do. You have to defeat everyone. Like, take all the bases and make them your own. That's what you gotta do. Alright, let me send Joey's unit. Let's see. Alright, let's see. What's gonna be mostly dragons? I'll probably take Joey to that base over there. Mine will be my defender for the time being. Especially inside the castle. She'll do just fine. Probably more than just fine. <laughs> You leave her alone with a few enemies, I mean, it's just gonna be her and a lot of mulch of blood and stuff. <laughs> She'll tear some ass. I apologize if my voice is not up to snuff. I did get up around 6 in the morning to get this part done. Because I realized that I did not have an episode for the 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time slot for today. Because I didn't get a chance to record, so I figured I better get it done now. This is probably going to be one of those rare videos of a Let's Play that I actually did, actually uploaded, or published, on the same day that I recorded it. Like, does that even exist, Bonga? Is that really a thing now? That you're actually just going to do things in normal time like everyone else, rather than just weeks in advance? Well, when you get a busy lifestyle and no opportunities to record, that, that happens. But I try to make do with the time that I have. I mean, I'm finally off work for like a couple days because it's the weekend. And I could be, you know, asleep by now. But I'm here with you guys. I decided to get up even earlier than I normally would do for work. Because I want to get this part out for you guys. Because I love y'all. <coughs> Should I have something to drink though to make my throat sound a little bit better? Vocal cords haven't fully awoke yet. Bleh. But anyways, we're very close to the end of this Let's Play, I must say. Hey, Joey, why don't you take on... Yeah, get out of that unit's way. And then we'll send uh, Maleruka over here. Jusol can go over here to face Ishizu's unit. That would be a great idea. Remember, we gotta get everybody moving. The objective here is to take every single base. And we cannot waste time at all. Luckily, they don't have a main camp, so we have nothing to worry about in that regard. So they're not gonna respawn. Uh, maybe I should have sent my back to actually fight that unit. Maybe I can send Malibruka out of his base to intercept them. Because if I don't and they take our main camp, then we pretty much lost. Alright, Panther Warrior is guarding, so don't attack him yet. Unless you want to use some uh, magic. Which I will. Alright, there we go. Now, let's just let loose on them. Let loose, foot loose, kick off your Sunday shoes, even though this is Saturday. <laughs> Do you really only have like one pair of shoes for Sunday? Like, well, it's our church shoes. It's not exactly what we wear on Sunday if say we were agnostic and stuff. I mean, come on. Well, maybe if you're a woman, like, sometimes they have more than one pair of shoes based on the type of event, and they never wear the same ones twice. Or they hardly wear them at all, but they don't want to get rid of them. And yet, if you have too many shirts, they give you shit over it. It's like, dude, come on. There's gonna be some times when the, the washing machine doesn't work, and I need shirts. What do you want me to do? Wear the shirts that I go to bed in? And go out in that? Because that makes you look douchey. 
All right, let's move on here. And why am I still attacking Garuzis if the Panther Warrior is recovered? Well, I guess I can blind them. Try to continue to harass these units. That's what uh, Malai Ruka's main unit is. It's power, but it's mostly harassment. That usually describes like the corporate world so sometimes. Oh, I was just kidding. Now, as long as we keep taking these chances, we should be done with this battle with minimal casualties. Worst case scenario, I don't even intercept that uh, approaching unit. I think we'll still lose if the main camp is lost. I just noticed we had a little bit of desync there. I do apologize. I'll get that fixed once I get a chance to take over again, which... Not yet. I soon will. Okay, now I do. Time out. Okay, I have returned. Hopefully that doesn't crap out again. Now, all we need to do is wipe out this Karuzis, and that base is ours. And he's got no chance. He's blinded, and he wouldn't be able to do a lot of damage to us anyway. Ooh, Black Luster Soldier is getting real close to being level 99. I don't think he'll get there in this campaign, but he's going to be very close. You know, I can... Oh, he's going to go this way now. No, go back, you scum. I think we just went in there at the same time. And I didn't even fortify myself like an idiot. Okay, same strategy. Only Black Luster Soldier will do extra damage by virtue of them being both dragons. I'd rather go for Serpent Knight Dragon first. That one has the most potential to be annoying. Add some blindness as well. And you pretty much got a recipe for disaster for these guys. In fact, they haven't fully recovered from that yet. And goodbye, Serpent Knight Dragon. Now it's just the uh, giant red sea snakes. Are they considered dragons? They might be. Or they're beasts. Yeah, they're beasts, so... We won't be doing extra damage to them. But, oh well. They're not going to be able to fight back, so we're good to go. Blindness is wore off? Huh. I might as well apply it again. Alright, there we go. We should be good to go in case they recover. And it's getting more and more beautiful as we go along. <laughs> They're not going to have much offense left by the time we're done. Okay, we're, we're very close to the end. Oh, I should have used Fairy's Gift to heal. Now I don't have to... Now I would have to buy a healer. Actually, not necessarily. I'll just have to tell the Chanter heal on this turn. It'll lighten the load a little bit. If we did that. Oh, both status ailments are gone. So that felt like a bit of a waste. Eh, not necessarily. Just made me look dumb, though. <laughs> but in the end, we still win. Okay, I'm guessing level 95 is the next big hurdle when it comes to collecting a lot of experience. Alright, let's patch ourselves back up. And let's see, what do I got moving now? 
I want you to go over here. And I think I want to send my unit over here. To boost on. Alrighty, Shizu should be over here. Got a very powerful unit, mind you. Odeon has the same unit. Just nothing has changed. Just higher levels. <coughs> so Joey, we just gotta make sure that he wins over here. And now these confuse, so you gotta watch out. Two out of King Rex is also a dragon, is it? Or is that a beast? Yeah, it's a dragon. Good. Okay, so if we take all three of these bases, we won. That's just how it is. Might take a while for some of them based on distance, but still. Looks like Joey's gonna get there first. Like, this is not a case of going straight for the commander and winning. Here, you pretty much have to go for every base. Like it's like it said before. So this is not the greatest place to level grind because they don't respawn. But the, at the best of it, you'll still be able to get some experience because the levels are so high. Like very close to max level. That's how crazy it is. Okay, that's one Thunder Dragon dead. As soon as we kill the other one, we're good to go. We don't have to worry about that twin headed Thunder Dragon showing up. Which, by the way, even if we did, we're still ready. We'd just rather avoid it. So to play it safe, we'll confuse this Thunder Dragon in case it gets another turn, which it did! So, that was a good strategy. You know, just attack the weakest monster, there's your strategy right there. Done! Now we don't have to worry about a fusion. All we have to worry about is taking this guy out in a timely manner. I think I should have used my special though, just to lower this guy's attack. It would make it sting a little bit less. Yeah, might as well finish him off rather than just take a turn to heal. It won't even be necessary at this point. But depending on where I'm located, I might do it anyway. Just in case, you know. Ah, he won't even make it in time anyway, so I'll just leave him. It must be my destiny to fight here today. And fate has already decided the outcome. Well, then I feel bad for you, Ishizu, because I already know what the outcome is, too. Okay, typical Ishizu strat here. Make sure that Magician of Faith is the first one defeated. Orion the Battle King would have to be next. Because that Moonlight Extinction is going to be a pain in the ass if used too many times on us. Let's face it, we don't want to have these units being revived. Oh, Magician of Faith guarded. Okay, remember, we got Rayme spells, so let's use them. Is Dunamis Dark Witch immune? Status elements? I think she is. Yeah, status guard. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh, we might as well break the guard. Good to know that was enough damage. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Oh, no. Moonlight Extinction. That's what I was looking forward to the least. Not only does it do really good damage, but it paralyzes everybody. No, it doesn't paralyze everybody. It reduces their damage. So now we gotta do even more hits to take them out. 
At least Illusion's Faceless Mage's regular attack can paralyze now. Oh, that was a good crit. So we've taken out, like, their saboteur unit. And all we have to do is just take out this one. The nice knee-high boots and all. I'm sure there's been at least one chick that cosplayed as her. I mean, she does look cute and all. Oh, come on. That was not cute at all, missing like that. Oh, that was a good miss. <laughs> it's a good thing Moisture Creature was skinny as hell. And goodbye? Yep, it's over. Okay, don't be fooled. This may be boss music, but that was not the boss. We still have Odeon to take on next. Excuse me. Which unfortunately is taking its sweet time. Come on, Mai, move your ass. <laughs> Might as well just buy some stuff. Oh, this is all crap anyway. No matter what happens, I will continue to fight in order to protect him. Even if you lose, because that's what's going to happen right now. And then some. You know what's disappointing? Both of these should have had boss music. Not just Ishizu. Oh my god. First attack, you're going to miss. Okay, good. I was kind of hoping that we get two of these embodiments of Apophis paralyzed. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, paralysis wore off. This has been like the bad luck Brian of battles here. People don't still use that meme, do they? I think it, I think it died down a long time ago. That's what happens when memes get overuse. They don't have Lucky, though, so how the hell are they getting so good? Whee! Oh yeah, my tiredness is catching up to me. Please don't miss. Thank you. I'd rather have at least two units paralyzed for when I do the special. Will this be enough to kill two of them? No, but it was close. I noticed that Arrow has been the only one attacked in this entire battle. It's a bit unfair, don't you think? And I'd say, like, uh, one more special on this guy's toast. Hopefully. And this mission should be over right now. Yeah, we did it! Alright. And my gets another action point bonus. That's awesome. Now we're pretty much burning the midnight oil. There's so little left. Wait, why haven't we won yet? Oh, don't tell me. We had to take that base too. Oh my god, I forgot all about that. Well, at least we had a unit close to it. Still gonna take a while, though. That is so awkward. I was thinking, hmm, why haven't we won yet? And then I realized this base was still under the property of the enemies. While that's going on, I better, like, 
buy some stuff in our other bases. Then again, it's not gonna matter, like, we're probably gonna use the items we got anyway. Oh, these are just terrible. Maybe a mesmeric control could be useful. If you wanna, like, slow them down. But that's pretty much it. We only got, like, two missions left. Wow. It seems like a long let's play because of all the parts and all, but still, we're coming along nicely. Okay, Merrick's barely got legs to stand on now. Let's finish this once and for all. Oh, Mystical Beast Circuit has now joined us. A bit too late, but still, that's, that's nice. Imposter? Leaving his troops behind, Merrick chases Joey deep into the deep forest of Inzam and finds himself alone. This is just the chance the Black Dragon Squad has been waiting for, but Merrick's not ready to give up yet. Ooh, looks like we're gonna have one epic clash, and we can finally take everyone with us. So yeah, I updated Taya's team to have Gietek Omegami, Mystical Elf, and Dark Elf. Dark Elf is there to fuse with Cosmo Queen by way of that with Mystical Elf. And Gietek Omegami's ability allows it to power up. So that was an easy choice. Alright, I'm going to stop the video right here. And in the next episode, we're going to take on the second from last mission in Joey's campaign. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.